Hopefully at this point you've got Python installed to the point where you can run it from some kind of console. Now you're going to want some really basic familiarity with your console. At the minimum, you need to know how to change from one directory to another in your console. To make things a bit easier, although it's not essential, I'm going to recommend that you install Microsoft PowerShell. So if you go to the internet and type something like install PowerShell, then you can easily find instructions for doing this for different platforms. So you need a, a way of interacting with your computer within a console like this one. And the program that lets you interact with your computer, lets you type stuff and that understands your commands, we call a shell. So Microsoft PowerShell is just a kind of shell. When you start up a console or a terminal like this, some kind of program is already running. In this case, I've got something called Z shell or Z shell running by default on my Mac. But now that I've installed PowerShell, if I type PWSH, it runs Microsoft PowerShell. And I think this is a pretty nice shell to use. Like I say, this is optional, but I probably would recommend that you install it and use it, especially if you're new to this. You are going to want to learn a few basic commands. Now, you're going to see me typing commands in this course in PowerShell, but they may sometimes be specific to my Mac. The good thing is you, you really don't need to know many of these commands. Really, if you can change from one directory to another and maybe list the directory, that will probably be enough. So on a Unix-like system, you could type ls to see what's in your directory. And you could type cd in a directory name to move into a new directory. So for example, I can type make dir and the name of a directory I want to create. Let's just call it hello. And then I can do cd space hello, that stands for change directory, to go into that directory. And I can type ls which lists the content of the directory. At the moment, there's nothing in there. And that will probably work for you, whatever platform you're using. If I do a search here and I search for PowerShell commands that work on Linux and Windows or something like that, I get this list of commands and the commands that I just used are in here. Make the CD for change directory, LS to list the directory. So those commands will probably work on your system. You can probably do what I just did. But if you find they don't, you can always look up a really basic PowerShell tutorial, or maybe you know the commands that work on your system. Like on Windows, I think it's dir, D-I-R, to list the content of a directory, and Windows also uses CD. So this stuff will probably work for you, and I recommend that you do install PowerShell and activate it by typing PWSH, because it's a pretty nice shell, especially for beginners. And if you already are comfortable with using a console on your system and you like using the console as it is, that's also fine. You can just carry on using that. But I do want to emphasize that occasionally I might type things in the terminal that are not central to the tutorial that you could do in some other way using Explorer or Finder on the Mac or whatever, and they might not work on your system, but that's okay because you won't, you don't absolutely need them. You just need to be able to basically navigate the file structure in your console using PowerShell or however you prefer. This is a free video from my course, Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides. 
then you can find the link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.